what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can watch youtube videos in your car now we've all probably seen the tesla videos where they show off how they can just sit down at the charging stations and watch youtube videos play games and blah 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 and i i guess that's that's pretty cool I wish my car could do that. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to help you play cyberpunk while waiting for your car to charge. But what I can do is help you guys out on how to watch YouTube videos in your car. Now, I made a whole video on this. If you're interested, check the card above. This is an alternate method to that. The original one I showed almost a year ago now was using a jailbroken iPhone running 13.5 with that jailbreak that was huge and using CarBridge Lite, which was a $4.99 tweak that you could buy that allowed you to do screen mirroring on your phone. Now again, that required a jailbreak, which took a little bit of extra work and effort. This is a much more simplified solution, a nice plug and play solution, but it does cost money. That's the main trade off here is it's a lot simpler, but it is gonna cost you some money, but it's really cool and it's got some awesome dual functionality, which we'll take a look at in just a sec. So the product we're gonna be looking at is the MMB wireless Apple CarPlay USB dongle adapter. And this thing, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it through the CarPlay MMB website. I'll have links to everything in the description. I also have a coupon code for this that's gonna save you $20 off. It's coupon code METSTECH, so use that at checkout and use the link in the description to go ahead and get this ordered uh, and you guys can get a little bit of a discount. Now for full disclosure, I was sent this product by Joy Audio for review. They are not paying me for the review, but I will get a little bit of a kickback if you guys use that referral link in the description. So if you don't mind helping me out, definitely do that if you're interested in this product. But there were no rules and stipulations on what I can and can't say about the product. I will never do a review where I am required to say positive things about the product. You can trust that. I will fairly review every single product that I receive. So keep that in mind. I will be reviewing this as fairly as possible since there are no restrictions on what I can and can't say. So again, help me out if you guys enjoy the product or are interested in it. It's very, very simple to set up and very, very simple to use and you guys will get that right off the bat. But it comes in this nicely designed box here with just the product itself in some nice packing foam and then two different little adapters that you can use. It's a USB-C to USB-C or a USB-C to USB-A depending on what you need. And they're these nice kind of uh, wrapped cables. They're pretty high quality feeling. So we'll be using uh, the USB-A one here in this video. But again, very simple. All you do is take the little dongle itself right out and it's just this nice little compact device. Go ahead and plug into the USB-C port and then plug it into your car's device. Now, I will warn you guys, you do need to make sure that your vehicle is compatible with this system before you buy it, because I was not able to make this video on my old car that I used to have. I used to have a 2019 Subaru Crosstrek, and that is not a compatible vehicle, but there is a huge list of compatible vehicles. So just make sure yours is on there before you buy this. And another note, your car already has to have wired CarPlay as a factory option. That only works if you have wired CarPlay as a factory option, keep that in mind. So what this little device does is twofold. One, it gives you wireless CarPlay, which is fantastic. My car, now that I have a 2022 Chevy Bolt EUV, if you're interested in my first reaction to that, check the link above, got it brand new, super excited about it, one of the first owners in the country. But that car has wireless CarPlay. So again, couldn't use it because it already has that functionality. So make sure your car already has wired CarPlay from the factory and this will work like a charm. Now, a lot of older vehicles have this wired CarPlay straight from the factory. So again, a wide variety of vehicles will be able to use this. Just make sure your car meets all those qualifications. But if it does and you plug this device in, it's going to give you wireless CarPlay, which is a great bonus, but also it will give you screen mirroring and the ability to use a USB device straight into this for watching movies or listening to music. So let's check that out. So when you first plug it in, you just accept the terms and conditions here, and then you are greeted with this screen here. Now this has a couple different options here. First and foremost, you wanna go into the settings and turn on your phone's hotspot and pair this device with your phone's hotspot. That's important, it helps transmit data uh, back and forth from the device. So definitely do that first and foremost. Once you've done that, you have access to PhoneCast, CarPlay, Bluetooth, 
and the USB option like I mentioned. So CarPlay is exactly just what it seems like. It is your standard CarPlay system. And then as you can see here, once you've got CarPlay connected to the device, you do get access to wireless CarPlay. As you can see, my phone not plugged in. Boom, we've got CarPlay right here. Now I am running iOS 15, the first public beta. So I've got some access to better looking maps and up updated backgrounds and things like that. So it may look a little different on your all screen if you're not on iOS 15 yet but you get access to all your standard apps and it is all working wirelessly. Now, again, I'm not getting paid for this review, so I'm allowed to say whatever I want. And I'll say that the wireless CarPlay connectivity, it is a little bit laggier than standard wireless CarPlay from the factory. But again, it's using an adapter connected to your phone. So there is a little bit of a delay there. So you just keep that in mind. It doesn't run perfectly every time, but for the most part, it's more than usable. So wireless CarPlay is cool in and of itself. I mean, it's great, but to me, it's not really the selling point of this little dongle. The selling point is the screencast. Let's take a look at that. So if we go to Phonecast, you have a couple different options. You have TV screen, which basically lets you cast YouTube videos straight to the screen. And then you also have phone screen mirroring that works with Apple and Android. So I really prefer using the TV screen button, which basically makes it act like a TV, a smart TV that you could cast YouTube videos to. I prefer using that. I know some people will prefer doing the screen mirroring. I don't find it as useful as just the standard TV screen option, but the TV one is very cool. So let's go ahead and pull up one of my YouTube videos here. In fact, let's go ahead and pull up the watching YouTube videos in your car video from last year. And then you just do like you'd always do and go to AirPlay, then select the Smart Ori device. It'll take a second to load. Thanks to the most recent release of the Uncovered Jailbreak for iOS 13.5, it covered a myriad of devices. And there you go. Had a jailbreak it's playing sometime. It was a significant deal. And you can watch videos right there on your car screen. Nice and simple. The audio sync is actually pretty good. I know people have reported problems with these in the past. I don't really have that problem. If you are having that problem, definitely make sure you are upgraded to the most recent software version of the CarPlay adapter here, because if not, you may run into some of those audio lag or desync issues. But here, it's really not even noticeable. So I'm really happy with what I'm seeing so far. Just be able to lean your seat back, turn on the air conditioning, have it play out of your car sound system and have the picture nice and clear right there on your screen. Especially if you have one of those vehicles that has a larger screen, like this screen is only about an eight inch screen. So it's only a little bit bigger than a phone screen. But if you have like a, you know, 10.25 inch screen or 12 inch screen or something like that, this is gonna be a really, really cool way to just relax in your car and watch some YouTube videos. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna ask me the question, does this work with Netflix? No, this does not work with things that are copyrighted. So YouTube doesn't have that kind of copyright protection where it like blocks the screen or anything like that. Netflix has it, I think ESPN probably has it. Different things like that you're not gonna be able to do, but YouTube, you're gonna have no problem. But let's take a look at the phone screen mirroring. So if you go to phone screen and then you hit Apple Cast and then you drop down your little menu on your phone, press the screen mirroring and you'll see it pop right up. It pops up as an Apple TV icon, which is kind of funny. We'll go ahead and connect there. And then there we go. Got the screen right there and you can uh, do whatever. You can go to your photos, turn your phone and it will fill out the screen there and you can swipe through your photos. Show people your photos on a bigger screen. You can even play back videos uh, from your device right on the screen here. Now, again, it's not the most buttery smooth playback that you'll ever see, or swiping around isn't the most buttery smooth thing you've ever seen, but, but you can't do this with factory CarPlay or without this adapter. So the fact that you can do it at all, I think is pretty cool. And then you do have Bluetooth, like I mentioned, but I don't really see how that is that beneficial because if you have a car that has factory CarPlay, it already has Bluetooth. like. Every car has Bluetooth basically these days. So really, if you have CarPlay, you're gonna have Bluetooth. So I don't see that as really even a function of the device, but the USB function is kind of cool. If you have a little USB flash drive that you wanna plug into the USB-A port on the front of the device, you can access the files on there. So supported video options include MP4 and AVI formats. And then if you wanna put music on there, you've got WAVE, AAC, WMA, AMR, MP3, FLAC, all that kind of stuff is supported on this device. Which again, that's a really cool function to have. The fact that it even exists at all is fantastic. Just an added bonus in addition to that wireless CarPlay screen mirroring and TV casting feature that allows you to watch videos in your car. So that is the MMB CarPlay adapter. Now this retails for $175. 
off of the CarPlay MMB website, which I have linked down below. Again, use my discount code METSTECH at checkout. You'll save $20 off. Also, definitely use the referral link down there. Uh, just if you want to support the channel, it'll really help me out. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below what do you think about the ability to watch YouTube videos in your car using the MMB CarPlay adapter. Let's have a conversation down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be one of the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.